In this video, we're going to answer the following questions on electronegativity. Let's start off by answering our first question, which is, what is electronegativity? A quick lookup at Wikipedia will give us this. What does that mean in plain English? Let's use HF as an example. The pink electrons in between H and F, they are the shed electrons, meaning they are the electrons that hold two atoms together. Electronegativity of an atom tells you how well that atom can attract the shared electrons towards it. It is expressed in numbers. Fluorine F is the most electronegative element with a value of 4.0. In fact, there is a trend. As you go from left to right across the period, electronegativity increases. As you go up a group, electronegativity increases as well. Just keep in mind that fluorine is the most electronegative element and it will be very easy for you to remember this trend. Now back to our example. H has an electronegativity of 2.1 while F is 4.0. So the higher the number, the more capable it is to attract the shared electrons. Imagine the electronegativity as magnet. The stronger the magnet, the more capable it is to attract metals. So in our case, F will attract the electrons way better than H. Since F will do a better job in attracting the pink electrons, they will then tend to move towards fluorine like this. That arrow is called the bond dipole. It shows where the electrons are attracted to. Notice that there is a difference between bond dipole and a regular arrow. There is that additional cross at the end of the arrow for bond dipole. So since electrons are attracted towards fluorine, it will then make fluorine slightly more negative. Therefore, we denote F with a delta negative sign. And since the electrons prefer fluorine, hydrogen will then be less negative, meaning in another words, it will be slightly more positive, and we denote that with delta positive sign. To recap, electronegativity is represented in numbers, showing how well an element can attract electrons in a bond. The larger the number, the stronger it can attract the electrons. The value increases as you go from left to right, bottom to top. The bond dipole shows the direction the electrons are attracted to. It goes from the element with smaller number to larger number. And don't forget the cross at the end of the arrow. Lastly, the elements with larger number, meaning the more electronegative element, will be partially negative, while the element with smaller number will be partially positive. We represent that with the respective delta symbols like this. Hope the video was helpful. Do subscribe and thanks for watching.